Oh, that's so weird. All right, so I'm gonna make a little video. I'm gonna try really hard to look at the camera and not look at my not look at myself, look at the camera. But it's incredibly difficult. So this past week has been extremely difficult. I have had to deal with somebody who I've had to deal with in the past. I don't know why this person cares as much as she does about me. But I must be really popular because all she seems to do is obsess about me. Uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, and that's basically everyone. <laughs> um, I have a friend who I met in a chat room in 2000. One, we go way back, and this person has been my friend basically since then. And we dated everyone who has had the internet since the late nineties has had someone that they dated on the internet. Don't tell me that you have never done that. I know it's a lie. Everyone has at least one internet boyfriend or girlfriend. How can you? Don't judge. Okay, so anyhow, fast forward. This is the end of 2015. So that would be 14 years. I have known this person for 14 years. For the past two years, he has been with this girl. Has anyone ever had a friend who dated someone and you guys just didn't click? Well, I... It's not that I don't like her. It's just that some people, you know... How do I describe it? Like, you can sense their desperation and it turns you off. Like, there's just some people who... You can tell that they're real and they're genuine and you can have a conversation with them and they have a brain in their head and everything that's all well and good. And then you have the people who are so desperate. And from the very beginning, I felt like she was somebody who wanted to keep an eye on me. Not actually be friends with me, but keep an eye on me. And I told this guy this, and at first he didn't really believe me, or he didn't really take it seriously. He was like, yeah, whatever. Uh, I like it. Girls fighting over me, blah, blah. And then on his birthday weekend, she texts me from his phone because I texted him back. He had sent me a picture saying happy chocolate Jesus day or something like that. It was Easter. His birthday is around Easter. And I texted back, LOL, happy Easter or something. I don't even remember at this point. And she basically, sorry, my hand is getting tired. All right. <laughs> she basically sends me a text through his phone saying, uh, Please don't text him, blah, 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 whatever. And she and I got into a huge argument, huge, because I had just woken up, I was annoyed, and personally kind of shocked that she would have the audacity to do this. And that was my first instinct was to be like, look, you say you trust this person, but you're going through his phone and you're texting people who you shouldn't be texting and trying to boss me around, which is a big no-no. So that was horrible. And he didn't speak to me for four months. And then he talked to me again and we kind of made up 
and he had been going through some stuff and realized that he shouldn't have been as passive as he was and we kept talking and we're still friends we still love each other but I wanted him to be honest with her and tell her that uh, he and I were talking again because I didn't want to hide it from her stupid me right so he tells her and of course she flips her shit and oh my god you're talking to her again blah 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 blah, blah. what is this and since then he's had to hide the fact that he and I are friends and basically it's not just me it's every girl if this girl had her way he would be chained to a pipe in the basement with no sunshine, no internet, no nothing. He would just be a prisoner. That's what she wants. She wants him to be a prisoner. She hates that he goes to work every day. And there's females where he works. Like, he can really control that, right? Crazy. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it to the point where I even told him, I'm like, look, I might need a break. And then I feel bad because I don't want to abandon him because it's not really his fault that she's like this. She's always been like this. And he's just trying to, he's just trying to get out. But I'm like at the point where if she says one word to me, I'm going to scream. Has anyone ever had this happen has anyone ever had a friend and the friend has a significant other who's extremely jealous and you have to hide the fact that you're friends which is stupid oh not to mention she had his baby yes he got her pregnant what did we learn from this use condoms they work anyway <laughs> Um, the night that she had his baby, she contacts me on Facebook and says, we should put all this behind us and be civil for his sake and please text him and blah, 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 blah. Well, he had never told her if he had texted me, but apparently... I don't even know how this started. Like, over the weekend, she decided to make a Twitter account. Like, a new Twitter account, I guess, to catch him in the act of doing something. And he had unblocked, he had blocked me, but he, I'm not sure how it happened. Like, I took him off my friends list a while ago, and then... He had his settings set up to where people were just blocked if they weren't on his friends list. I don't know. So he unblocks me and I followed him within one hour. That's all it took was one hour. She called him bitching at him that uh, I was following him on Twitter. And then she goes on her Twitter account and then says all of these mean and horrible things about how I am an STD that won't go away. Why can't I just fade into the past? He's my bitch, blah, 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 whatever. I'm just at the point where I'm like, what the fuck? You're the one. I know that's a bad word. But anyway, you're the one that said for me to text him. So I text him and you get mad that I texted him. Explain that, please. I don't get it. I really don't. And I do not understand women who do that. This is the second time in the past two years that this has happened to me. Do I just bring it out in people? I really have no idea. But the it's so annoying to be in my 30s. I am in my 30s. Okay? I just had a birthday. And this is still happening to me. Does anyone else have this problem, like, at all? Or is it just me? 
I really cannot tell. But it's pissing me off to the point where I'm just, I'm just done with social media. And that's punishing me because I like social media. <laughs> I love YouTube, obviously. I love Twitter. It's cute. And sometimes it's the only way I get to talk or hear from certain people. And, like, I think people gravitate towards whatever uh, social media avenue they like. My favorite is Instagram. I love me some pictures and Instagram and there's hardly any drama except for these people that feel compelled to uh, tag me in beauty product videos or get skinny pills or something. I don't know. It's really fucking annoying. Stop it. And then there's Facebook which is really just a crapshoot because People either use it for uh, causes that they believe in or businesses, which is what I use it for primarily, or to keep in touch with people. And there's the people that want to get on their high horse and just talk shit about other people. And I, I don't understand that because if you want to do that, okay, fine, but why on a forum where everyone can see it? And that's where you really have to think, when I press that send button, who's going to see this? It's not just me. It's my 235 friends that are going to see this, including family members who watch me act like a freaking idiot. That's why I had to get rid of a lot of my friends on Facebook because half of them I've never even talked to. And these are people that I went to middle school with. And we got in arguments and then they don't like me anymore, blah, 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 whatever. And all of a sudden, they want to be friends with me on Facebook. I don't get it. I don't bother these people. I don't bother people. That's stupid. <sighs> okay, I guess all of my blab, blabbering, which is basically what this is, tonight... It was basically just a venting session. I just needed to get all of this out and maybe someone will watch this and have an opinion. Maybe I'm being stupid, I don't know. That's mostly the shit that I get anyway from people on YouTube or spammers, which I don't like. Ugh, this is horrible on my back. I just, they really do not like me here. But I'm going to say this. If you ever feel like you don't understand why someone is screwing with you, ask yourself this question. Do I have to deal with this person? Is there a child involved? Is this person related to me through blood? If the answer is no, then block them on any social media that you can. And if they make new names, make sure you block those too, because people are tricky. They're tricky. But I can find you. Don't think that I can't. <laughs> Alright, this silliness has gone on for long enough. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this. I might. Or I might not. I don't know. But... Good night, and thank you for watching this. And if nobody watches this, well then, I don't know. It'll just be my little video blog. All right, bye for now.